So welcome back, family. We're here again with another uh, card grading submission reveal. So this time we're heading back to Arena Club. Um, doing been a, did a 30 card uh, submission for this time around. It went really well last time with a lot of gem and tens. I will say I didn't probably go over these cards with as a uh, critical eye as I did last time. So we'll probably not reach uh, kind of the level of gem and tens that I had last time, but hey, you never know. We'll see. Uh, did submit a lot of revolution cards that I got in breaks and ripped myself, so uh, you'll probably see a lot of those, as well as, as, well as some um, cards from other videos. So again, if you like things like this, please let me know by hitting like and subscribe, but let's get started. I'm excited to see what we got this time around. So we'll, again, we have 30 cards, as you can see right here. First card up is a 10 of the primetime performers. Okay, so this is the case hit um, from Revolution. This I got in a break, a random team break, where I actually got um, a couple cards you'll see in here, The uh, uh, one of which was this case hit of Zion from uh, Revolution, so that's pretty cool to start off with. So we did get a gem mint 10 on the primetime performers. I obviously had the Pelicans, um, but I also got the Magic, so hopefully you'll see those cards grayed out pretty well as well. So good good to start, good to start. Let's see what we got next. Again, we have 30 cards in total, so this may take a little bit. Next one is a gem mint 10. This is the case hit of uh, Mosaic, the rookie eruption from uh, for my boy Franz. Good to see that. That one I was uh, unsure of now because I thought I saw a little bit of a print line on it, but it looks like it went fine with this. Um, actually, again, 10, 10, 10, almost nearly a uh, perfect 10. Centering was just a little off with that, so cool. Good to that. This one, um, this one I actually bought myself. Um, I got this on as a single on eBay. Um, so that'll be good. That'll be in my PC and probably be, I'll be actually requesting this back with a bunch of the uh, other fronds and magic cards I have. So, all right, 210 so far. Let's see what we got next. We have a nine of David Roddy. So this is mint. This, uh, you can already see that that corner is coming up. So I can definitely see corners as not being a 10, but this is a cosmic. So this is, again, one of the things for, I got from uh, Pac-Man's break actually there. So yeah, corners 8.5, you can see that um, right there. That was the biggest one, but yep. So I got this, I, had, uh, I think I drew the um, two spots in his uh, full master case break. Uh, I think it was the first one when I did it for Revolution. I had the, drew the uh, Grizzlies and the, and the Mavericks. So you'll hopefully see those um, as well. And, as a part of this so let's see what else we got uh, so far okay again I'm hoping for at least nines and above for most of these cards I did have some flawless that may not grade as high but let's see all right so this one is the nine five this one I know knew had kind of that print line you kind of see there so I'm pr pretty sure it wasn't gonna be a gem um, that's why I didn't actually send this one off to PSA otherwise with prism I, I typically would uh, but you can see that again the centering was a little off too you can see that in the back here uh, and up here it's a little top top heavy floating so but it's still blue shimmer of Justin Herbert to, thir to 25 so there you go next one up is a 9.5 of Desmond Bain Cubic. So this was the 50th out of 50. Again, this came out of the uh, same Pac-Man break as that uh, Roddy, but this one, again, the corners really, you can see that there. Uh, edge, some edge stuff there. But really, the corners were a little bit tough uh, for, for Revolution. But 9.5, still pretty good. Next one up is... All right, this is, again, this is from an impeccable 8.5, the 10 auto. Again, I mostly submitted it for that 10 auto. Thicker cards like impeccable, flawless, tend to be a little bit tougher to grade uh, because of the corners and the edges and whatnot. But centering look actually was pretty good. But you can see like here, that there's some edge stuff there. That corner is pretty dang there, but yeah. The thicker cards are a little bit tougher. So as long, generally speaking, as long as A, the auto looked clean 
Uh, I actually have the one of one printing plate of this as well. I just hit that recently. Um, and no major surface issues. That's what I'm generally looking for for these uh, thicker, thicker high end cards like Immaculate and Peckable, National Treasures, and Flawless. All right, let's see what we have here. We have another 9.5 again. Uh, there's that print line that I thought wasn't good enough, so that's why I didn't send this off. Centering was also a little off here. Uh, let's see if I can look if. I'm not sure where it was. This one I might have to look. Uh, actually, the uh, the card report itself. Um, but yeah, so you can do that. We'll we'll take a look at that after we go through all these cards. But yep, it was really just the centering that uh, threw this off. Um, yeah. But again, another blue shimmer out of first off the line prism this year. All right, so two nine fives out of prism. Here's the Luca. Here's the nine point five and a ten auto. Uh, so this is, again, this is one of the hits from the Mavs that I got. Uh, it's the edges that pulled this one back from probably getting a 10. Actually, probably still a 9.5 with the other threes at 9.5. But, yeah, on-card Luca Autograph. That's pretty good. Um, I think I saw th raw sales of this. Oh, yeah, you can see those edges right here um, being a little, a little rough. Um but yeah, I saw raw card, uh, raw sales of this at uh, five hundred bucks. So, yeah, pretty good. Again, this is the one of the cards that Pac-Man pulled me in his uh, case break. So, cool. So nine five and a ten for that Luca on card auto. Next up is the flawless. This is the Keontae George from Flawless Collegiate and eight five. Pretty clean auto, so that's why I went there. Here, the surface itself, you can, I guess you'd see that. I guess uh, the edges were actually clean, so that actually brought it up. But 8.5, yeah, generally speaking, I haven't seen a whole lot of, uh, of these kind of thicker RPAs that grade out too well. So anything 8 or above, I'm generally looking for. Biggest thing is really the auto itself, if that seems clean enough, which uh, I think for them, that's a thing clean enough. Although, you, if you go to PSA, I'm not sure if that um, is a little too streaky for them. We'll see. I do have some charts out to PSA as well as uh, um, BGS that hopefully we'll see soon. Um, but here we go. This is again from my recent uh, revolution rep like side by side um, year over year comparison of 21 22 and this year I could pull this impact Kaminga to 149 so there's that I will say these again really quick um, sent them out I think last uh, last week they got there by Monday of the following week and today is Friday and these grades are ready so um, pretty pretty quick turnaround alrighty next up we're about this card 10 here is our gold Keegan so again getting more nine fives comparatively but again I didn't go with the same eye as I did before so I knew that I was probably gonna be getting more nines and nine fives for uh, the thinner cards and probably more eights on the thicker flawless cards that uh, and the uh, impeccables that I submitted so here again the corners really corners are what, what's um holding me back this this time around I think last time it was more of the surface issues but again this was a gold uh, gold Keegan Murray from uh, hoops so pretty good alrighty moving on let's see if we can't get another tenor or so or we're gonna be sticking the nine fives for this one all right, here is the kind of the case hit out of contenders, the permit to dominate. This is Jabari Smith. And again, here are the edges, which again with die cut cards tend to be the thing that holds it back. So not too surprising, but mine five, I'll take all day. All right, let's see what else we got. This is a nine and a 10. So this is a mint nine and a ten auto for the star swatch signatures of Keontae George. 
Yeah, so I did buy into a lot of Collegia Flawless for the, the TBD spot specifically for him. Um, he may or may not be Magic's top pick next coming up. That's why I was projecting that. Um, he does doesn't have the most efficient um, shooting range, but he's still gonna be a, probably a top ten, top top twelve lottery pick. So, yeah, pretty good. Nine ten, I'll definitely take for this. Um, I was also chasing those uh, gemmed um, school cards out of Collegiate Flawless that or one of ones, but not a whole lot of those. So here is our first Paolo. This is the Cosmic. This got a nine five. Uh, this is at a 99, uh, so I got this out of a break, the same one that I got the primetime performers out of, actually. And again, the corners is what's really um, really hurting me for, for a lot of these. But there you go. There's a Paolo. 9.5, Mint Plus. Let's see if the other Paolo's here. There's another Paolo. This is the groove, so this is, is non-numbered. Here, the surface, which again, I, I think I mentioned this in the last, um, my other grading uh, submissions and videos, it's especially with revolutions, it's hard for me to actually determine what's a surface issue and what's actually part of the, some of the designs for these parallels. But 9.5, again, still, I'll, I'll take that. Next up, here it comes. Here's all right. This only got an 8.5, but got got the 10 auto, so I knew I was gonna get the 10 auto. Um, so 8.5 is mostly the corners again. Is really what's affecting um, affecting me for for these corners are coming up pretty dang. I wonder if uh, something happened in transit, maybe actually, because a lot of these were uh, sleeved, pack fresh. Alrighty, but 8.5 and a 10 auto for Cade. Here's a 9 and a 10. I knew this was going to be the great, not the greatest since it's been sitting for a while in my collection, and I, I definitely saw that um, that corner as well. So, But still, a 9, 10 of Trey Murphy from Revo Tmall, or Revo Asia. Um, this was my first ever Revo rip. Actually, first real hobby rip back in it, and uh, that's where I hit the this the and the um i think i had Cade to 99 as well as the the big jalen green 101 hollow gold that was all in the same box i believe all right next up here's a 95 groove of kenneth lofton all right this one is again more of the surface issues but 95 Uh, what is this? Here's an 8.5 of Shaden. So again, these are uh, Revolution cards, and you can see that that's coming up. So this is out of my rip. Again, the corners really, uh, really holding me back here. All right, another flawless, and this one got a nine though, nine and ten auto. Again, just regular the regular RPA, the signature prime RPA. Um, I think I had like two or three of them, honestly, as well as the Star Swatch. I had a couple of those. I did. I do have the one of one of this, the um, the brand logo, the Nike logo um, tag, one of one that I did not send in because it uh, definitely had. Um, some surface shoes like right there, so I did not send that in. Alrighty, ten left. Here's a nine five ten of the Nikolajovich Blue Shimmer Auto rookie ticket auto from Contenders. Again, corners kind of holding me back here. But other than that, actually everything else went okay. Um, again. Well, it's a lot of corner stuff. I wonder if something happened in my transit. All right, here's the 9 5. Here's my Galactic. So this only got a 9 5, but I'll take that for a Galactic. Although it's, it is just a Galactic insert, this is also what I hit um, 
in the same break as actually this was a different break this is I, this I hit on Blaz YouTube and I think it was the first Palo Galactic that they hit this year but I am looking to probably complete this insert rainbow I'm just waiting for the cubic prices to come down on the vortex and I missed out on the other ones it kind of sh shot up recently so alrighty 9.5 on a galactic pallet I'll take even if it's an insert alright looks like 8 left we still have a couple cards left to go this is the 9.10 this is the Jalen Duran for that again corners and edges you can see that there this again is the one I pulled in that comparison video same as the uh, Kaminga and the Cade as well as the Shaden actually so 9 and a 10 so far I think we only had the two 10s actually so far a lot of 9.5s including this one this is the auto again so I got this in the same break as the Zion as well as the Cosmic Palo base uh, true so that was definitely a good break for me but 9.5 with a 10 auto would love to get an infinite of this auto but yeah, I know that's going to be pretty tough to pull. Six cards left. And here we go. Here's the another one from the Pac-Man break where I hit the Mavs. So I got the DeLuca auto as well as this um, jersey number match. Again, three of 50 for Cubic of Jaden Hardy. So that's not bad at all. All right, five cards left so far. Only the two tens. Here's an Astro nine of Chet. So again, still at least getting the nines on most of these cards. We got the one eight five, uh, a couple of the eight fives on the thicker cards, which I was kind of more less expecting, but still pretty much nine or nine or better. Alrighty, four left. Uh, here's the gold star swatch so this one actually got a did get a 10 so that's pretty good to, cool to see there we go so 10 centering it was just the corners and the surfaces yeah that's this is gonna be a big one for me it, everyone loves the star swatch too nice patch even though it is not associated but still can't take George I really hope you do really well because I have a lot of good of your car cards for you alrighty so that's our third 10 here's another there's a football one alright 9-5 with a 10 auto for the Immaculate Records Jane Waddle so this is year 2 Jalen Waddle not rookie year but still thought it'd be nice nice to get try to get graded see how they do with the thicker cards here alrighty not bad Two more cards left. Let's see what we can get. I'm trying to remember who's still left there to have. Here's my Dougie McBuckets, one of one. <laughs> Got a 9-5 here. All right, this is the one uh, from my Donruss uh, rip. Again, the side-by-side -side comparison that I showed you all earlier on my channel. So here it is. Again, the corners is holding me back here, but still a one of one that gets a 9-5. Yeah, take that. Nice team color match on the black. All right, and then our last one. Who we got? We got the Paolo Astro at a nine. So a lot of nines, a lot of nine fives, not a whole lot of tens comparatively. But again, like I said, I wasn't looking with a more critical eye this time around. But yeah, like it. Still good. So there we go. Nine Astro of Paolo to finish it so these are now in my showroom um, some of these are obviously PC pieces that I'll probably move to down here others I'll leave up uh, so for trade so again I'll link a link my showroom in the description below if you want to make a trade I've made a few trades already uh, sold a few cards um, maybe eventually like I did before here at my first submission I'll eventually put some uh, prices here but feel free to make an offer on these 
Um, and there you go. So there you have it. So what do you think? Um, again, it's quick. It's satisfying uh, to have the these uh, reveals for the, when they get vaulted. I will get a few of these, including some of these PC pieces, actually mailed back to me somewhat soon. Um, I actually have another uh, submission in the works, actually. So we'll see. Well, again, thanks for... Uh, if you uh, like things like this, let me know again by hitting like and subscribe. Otherwise, thanks for stopping by.